Hello and welcome to today's My Employer on the Go tutorial. Today, we'll be walking through the process of onboarding employees using the MyGo software. When a new employee is hired, it can be a challenge to ensure that all their information and credentials needed to start are gathered in a timely and organized manner. Thankfully, My Employer on the Go makes the process simple and centralized. When you indicate to your payroll provider that you've hired a new employee and provide their email address, the new hire will receive two emails. One will contain a temporary password to be used to access the account creation portal, while the other will provide both a link to the registration site and a separate link to the My Employer on the Go webpage. This second link will bring the employee to their home page after registration is complete. After copying the temporary password to your clipboard, follow the instructions and click the hyperlink to visit the MyGo registration page. Once you've reached the registration page, go ahead and paste in your temporary password and click Begin. Upon logging in, employees will be brought to the welcome page of the onboarding portal. To get started, they'll first have to view and agree to the terms of use presented by the site. Once you're comfortable, go ahead and scroll to the bottom, give your digital consent, and move on to set a username and password. A username may already be set for you, but you'll have the opportunity here to change your temporary password. Next, you'll be able to set a few security questions to help you access your account in the event that you forget your password. Once you're finished, it's time to move on to the next step. Some of your personal info, including your full name, might already be entered in the My Information tab. If that's the case, you can go ahead and enter the other information required on this page, such as your social security number, date of birth, and a picture if necessary. Once you've entered all the required information denoted by the red asterisk, go ahead and click the Direct Deposit tab to move to the next page. If your company utilizes Direct Deposit, you'll have the opportunity to enter your bank information here. This will include your routing and account numbers and any other identifying information related to your bank. If your company will not be utilizing Direct Deposit, you can go ahead and move on to the next tab. On this page, you'll need to enter at least two emergency contacts to be kept on file in the event of a crisis. To add an emergency contact, click the Add a Contact button and begin entering their information. Once you're satisfied with your contacts, go ahead and move on to the next page. The Withholding and W-4 page is used to gather information related to your federal withholding and tax deductions. Details such as your annual income, number of dependents, and additional withholding per pay can be entered here. When you fill out all information required on this page, you may click Submit. You'll be asked to double check your information, at which point you may click Save and Confirm if everything looks good. Once the pop-up window appears to let you know that your details have been saved, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. On the I-9 verification page, simply select your work authorization status from the drop-down menu, confirm your social security number, and hit Save and Confirm. 
Again, once your details have been saved, you're ready to move on. Step 9 may contain a variety of information that the employer believes is important for their new employee to receive. In this case, Omnitech Incorporated has provided its employees with a tutorial on how to complete time off requests. After reviewing all information included in Step 9, you're ready to move on to Documents and Forms. The final step of the onboarding process asks the employee to review company policies and employee documents and provide e-signatures when necessary. To complete this step, the employee will have to open and view all of the documents contained herein and provide signatures if required. If a document requires acknowledgement, you may click the box at the bottom of the window after reading all the materials contained, enter your first and last name, and select Acknowledge. Some documents might ask for an electronic signature. If that's the case, you can again go ahead and select the box after viewing the entire document, enter in your full name, and click e-sign. You'll need to repeat this process for all documents contained in Step 10 before your onboarding procedure is complete. After all of these documents have been viewed, acknowledged, and signed, you're finally ready to finish your onboarding process. A pop-up window should appear to let you know that your onboarding process is complete, and you may click the Proceed to MyGo button to be brought to the employee portal. From here, go ahead and enter the username and password that you created a few minutes ago and select Login. If each step was completed successfully, you should immediately be brought to the My Employer on the Go dashboard. That concludes our tutorial. After viewing this video, employees should be able to follow along and complete their own onboarding procedure after they've been hired. Employers should also have a better idea of the onboarding process and be able to help their new employees if necessary. If you are left with any questions or are interested in learning more about this and other human resource offerings, please contact our Operations Department. Thank you.